Welcome back to Sussex Farm for episode 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So it's 8.23 in the morning and um, I'm coming back for another fuel run. I was left to comment uh, by Bear and Papa after the end of the last episode where I did the fuel run and it wasn't as great a demand as I thought it was going to be. I was a bit disappointed. He commented to say, uh, don't forget though, if it is a great demand, that means that when you sell, it holds the price for longer, which means you can do more runs. Normally you do a run, you do a second run and the price has plummeted. And in some cases when I've done it, I've made a loss on the second run. So I've been backwards and forwards. I've done a few runs of fuel. And why not? There's a great demand. You would do it if you had props, so why not do it for fuel? The price did wobble. It did go up and down. Strangely, I did a couple of runs and it paid full price. Then I did a run and it dropped. I think I only made about 30,000 on the run. I'd say only 30,000. Imagine if you made 30,000 pounds on a run. When I say that, 30,000 pounds, I've just realised because I've come off of doing a Lone Oak episode. Oh, still on dollars back on pounds anyway uh, yeah so it did say great demand was for six hours but the last load I did it dropped even lower so I did I did the usual kind of I tried saved it came out of the game came back in again I got one load at full price and the next load it plummeted again so I don't know whether the great demand has ended or I don't know whether the great demand thing just pops up as a standard every now and again you get a great demand on something but it just wasn't set I don't know, it's, it's very strange but I've made a bit of money, I'll be honest what have I made, about 500,000 I think maybe 600,000 which is not to be sniffed at but I need to get back over to the farm because the other thing I was looking at at the end of the last episode and again I've had comments from various different people and if you were one of those people I thank you very much for your comments there were a few of you and I can't remember everybody so I don't want to say someone, one person's name and miss out other people that would be unfair so what I did was I, after my panic and going over the crops with the slurry spreader, um, I thought, well, I can use the fertilizer sprayer. That's not a problem at all. So I started going off and doing some fields with that. And I bought myself um, a Braidell F2 WS4000. Simply because I was using one of these on Lone Oak Farm because there's one you get kind of with the farm. And I forgot how, you know, how good it was. The capacity is 4,000 litres, obviously. So I thought I'll get one. So I stuck some narrows onto the uh, the Fiat Agri, um, or the Fiat 18090, uh, and it looks a little bit odd. And then I had a load of comments left saying, "Don't forget on the slurry spreader, you can put narrows." And you know what? I either had forgotten or didn't even know you could in the first place. So I took that over to the workshop. We've got some narrows put on it, and that's full. So what I have left is, I was just going to use the Braidale, but you know what, why not? I have left field 6, I didn't do that because obviously I was concerned. When I cut across the corner of it at the end of the last episode, it made a bit of a mess. So let's get some slurry spread in here. Now there is that new mod, there's a little new modded tank, and I can't remember the name of it. That's a front slurry like liquid manure tank that increases the capacity of these. And I forgot all about that. I can't remember the width of this either now. Now is it going to work with a worker? Because I had problems with this before. Oh, wow, that's so weird. Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, there we go. Lower distributor, that was what it was. That's where I was going wrong. I keep trying to turn it on and it's not. You have to lower the bar. Why is that not... Okay. So after all of that, it may well be that in my whizzing around doing as many fields as I could I've already done, I must have already done this field without even realising well that's embarrassing let's have a quick look 
soil composition. Yeah, already done. How did I not even realise? Okay, well I'll do some slurry spreading on one of the fields anyway. Um, it'll probably be field 8 once the first growth comes in there. I'll slurry spread that one, so we'll get some slurry spreading done with these narrows on. And I'm sure when I get around to doing that, I'll forget how to turn the machine on again, because I keep doing that. So at the moment then, I've got um, a manure spreader, muck spreader, I've got a slurry spreader, I've got a fertiliser sprayer and a fertiliser spreader. I think I'm pretty good when it comes to fertilising uh, fields. I don't have a weeder, so I suppose if I want to round out the whole package, I can get one of those. That's mildly frustrating, but never mind. It is what it is. Should have checked the field first. But hey ho. Let's put this away. Then the fit agri will go back down to um, the market garden. We are back up the store because we need some trailers um, in light of our newfound wealth. Um, I'm going to buy a couple of sugarcane trailers. Before I do that, big round of applause for KJ Wiggum's trucking. Um, as always, fantastic job. The sugarcane harvester has been delivered. That is the Case IH8800 multi-row um, as part of the deal that I did where I bought some equipment, shipped that off and that was what they sent me. They were going to send me that and a tractor which I thought was a bit excessive, so we just went with that. Um, I think I made a little out of that deal, not a huge amount, to be fair. But what I'm going to do is get... I was going to get some of these, but I think I'm going to go with the random trailers. I'm going to get one of each. My contract with um, Matt is for 500,000 litres um, of sugarcane. Now I've got a lot on that field and I know it's high yielding so I could get that, that could work but it's a lucrative deal because what Matt offered me way back when before I even planted it he's opening a candy store and he offered me £500,000 plus 50 sheep for 500,000 litres and to be fair 500,000 litres is a fair amount um, now actually oh that's a result look Mr Silly P Green Rim colour, we'll go with black as we often do. Farm dog loves Mr. Silly P Green. You can tell. Uh, let's buy that. And let's do the same with the other one. This may look utterly revolting, we'll see in a minute. Then we'll buy that. Now there are some. Oh! Now what I'm more impressed with is that the British summertime 
has been so good to us that we've had the heat we've had the humidity we've had everything we've needed for that sugar cane to grow it wouldn't normally grow in the uk but we've been lucky this year um that's um pig food um i tried to use this for something else and the pig food came off so that's unfortunately where it ended up um so i'm gonna do jump in here these hold about 66,000 litres each, so that gives me a pretty good capacity. I will run these alongside the harvester, I think the harvester can reach into them. If not, then I'm going to have to buy the other ones and do it kind of the way it was intended. Just think it's a lot. This, um, the Oshkosh will pull both of these, no problem whatsoever. I don't think, other than when I did a guide to the Platinum Expansion Pack, I don't think I've used these on anything. This is the first time using them. Now, as I started to say, I think I started to say, or did I just think I'd start to say it? The uh, UK sugar tax that came into force in... March April time 2018 is a sugar tax that is imposed on fizzy drinks the higher the sugar content the higher the tax which means the price of fizzy drinks went up in the UK some of the heaviest hit were companies uh, making iron brew coca-cola um, there were some others dr. pepper um, got really hammered um, and strangely enough even people that are drinking gin and tonics the fever tree gin and tonics got hit quite hard because they're quite high in sugar apparently um, now, whilst I think they use glucose and fructose, I think it is, in, in the fizzy drink process, they are, they are talking about expanding that sugar tax out to include confectionery, candy, sweets, chocolates, you know, all those kind of things, um, which would be catastrophic. So I need to get this done before they impose the tax before poor old Matt gets clobbered he's starting out his new candy store his new sweet shop as we would probably call it in the UK um, although most of the kids I know now refer to it as candy those Americanisms creeping in um, yeah so yeah we could get clobbered with, with that tax realistically they're doing it to combat obesity and tooth decay and they're saying it's costing the NHS millions per year to deal with obese people getting ill and uh, tooth decay uh, for, for dentistry is costing a fortune and all the rest of it it's not going to stop people having fizzy drinks it's not going to stop them eating chocolate and there's that they're just going to pay more for it so realistically the government reckons they could make in excess of 158 million pounds i think it was um, which they're talking about putting back into schools and education for PE programs and that kind of thing which is very noble if that money ends up there sorry whoa getting all controversial politics no what's happened to Mr CDP I shall stop now that was just a kind of anyway sugarcane on Sussex sugarcane on any one of my maps that's a big big difference it's a big big thing never done it before i'm not even sure how this works uh right okay turn it on front opens head of drops go into pipe out right bear with me one second so pipe out i always press the wrong button that didn't do anything turn the harvester i'm hoping this is going to work Right now, set a worker. I don't know, is that working or not? Let's get one of these on the side and see. Oh. It is working, okay. We are harvesting sugar cane, no way. No, I seem to be caught on the side of the harvester. I would have believed it possible. That's chucking a load of rubbish behind, isn't it? 
Не пою. Не пою еще не надо спать. Now what I'm going to have to do when I get to the end of the road, so I don't drive through the crop itself, I'm going to have to take the harvester around to the other side of the field, and we have to go round and round and round, you know, that kind of, that kind of deal. Can't believe it. First time doing this properly, let's say properly. I'm making a bit of a move of it. I'm sure you're supposed to use the other trailers and then tip into the random ones, but you know, I thought I'd just save a bit of grief. Now, as far as I'm aware as well, I don't need to re-sync this either, do I? Um, there's no cultivating, does it? I think you just fertilise it, and then it regrows, is that right? I don't know. I, I think that's right. Whoops. mess of that. So quickly into the harvester. And like I say, because that will turn round. Oh actually will the header Oh you plum. The header should switch the other way, shouldn't it? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Just as I start to harvest it, I get a great demand for sugar cane. You, you must be kidding. What is the great demand going for? Let's have a quick look, shall we? How is that a great demand? That's what I'm talking about. Sugar cane up at the airport is dropping from 1,133. That's mad. That's a mad price. Why am I not selling at the airport? Anyway, 208, 235, 222, 222. The great demand is 176. How is that a great... That's not a great demand. What that is, is a joke. Anyway, I should have started to around. I assume it will swing back the other way. Let's turn this round. Yes, okay. Now we're cooking on gas. I need to do. Let's knock down the old cruise control. What's that harvester run with? Six, somewhere right. Let's get down to six. Let's get alongside. Oh, try and get into position where it's alright. Put the cruise control on. Knock it back one notch. Back another notch just so I can get the land up properly. Yeah, back up a notch and now at the right speed. There we go. That's better. Now I'm not fiddling around with the accelerator. I can just crawl along next to it. Get rid of the great demand screen. this field is I don't know. I'm speaking too soon I might I might well get the 500,000 litres I don't know
So now, turn around. It's the beauty of doing it on this field. You've got a nice big run off either side. Now, somebody did say to me, it's going to take you a long time. And it is. I'm under no illusions. It's going to take quite some time. Cruise control on. Oh, there we go. So as you can imagine, what's going to happen now is um, I'm going to continue this, and I'll see you. I'll say much later. It's 9:04 now. Um, I'm wondering how long it will take me to get a full load. It's going to be curious. I'm getting too close. I think I'm drifting slightly. Like that. So yeah, like I say, I'll see you in a bit. Right, I made it to the top of the hill. First full load, both trailers filled, 133,000 litres. I've come up to the airport because that's the best price. Now, what I'm going to do is, whatever price I get, that will be deducted from the 500,000 that I was offered. So this is, in essence, this is the payment I'm receiving. Um, I'm not going to drop this load, get paid, then take 500,000 on top. This is part of the 500,000. Now, the only problem I've got is I'm assuming it's here and I don't know how please tell me it doesn't mean sugar beet in pallets on the thing there it's got to be here I'm not getting an unload symbol come up though which is a bit of a worry I'm sure someone else did say to me sugar beet didn't work oh no this could be a disaster let's see what happens shall we I could end up tipping sugar beet all over the floor I'll just check that definitely says Yeah, airport. It says sugar beet at the top. Now, how do these work? I'm never quite sure. So, we've got... Um, okay, so this is just tip. This would be interesting. Please work. No. Money's not going up at all. Oh, it is. Okay. Not going up as quickly as I thought it would though, bearing in mind that I'm tipping load on the floor to be fair. Now if that's paying what it says it is, that should have paid sixty thousand and that just paid twelve. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Oh hang on. No, hang on. 
Am I losing my mind here? That, that, that does not make any sense. I'm at the airport, right? And that says sugar cane, 1,128. So if I'm right, 66,000 litres has got to be over 66,000 pounds. That has to be. And I just got paid 12,000. That makes no sense whatsoever. Unless that is referring to pallets. Maybe that's the pallet price, which is way more than everywhere else. So that could be referring to... I'm stuck now. I need to clear that up. That could be referring to the pallet price in the back of the helicopter. For potatoes. Sugar beet. Sugar cane. There's no sugar cane pallets on it. Hmm. Can you even palletise sugar cane? Well, that's annoying. I was expecting this massive payout. <laughs> okay, well. I seem to have lots of disappointment up at this airport, don't I? Let's see if I can get this lined up properly. It's hard to tell. Another 12,000, well, that's wrong. Okay, well, never mind. That's the first 133,000 litres, regardless. So I take that off the 500,000 litre total, and then we'll work out. I should have just driven out forward, actually, shouldn't I? Um, what we've got left to do. That last bit there is going to be scooped. So I might need to bring up the, the bobcat, maybe, and we'll get that cleaned up. That's not a problem. So back to the field, and I will carry on. And uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll get to our 500,000 litres fairly soon. That's frustrating. I suppose what I need to do is a test and see if I can palletise sugar beet.
Right, it's 10.43. This is load 4. This has got 133,000 litres, and I needed 101. With 101,000 litres, that completes this contract. 500,000 litres of sugar cane. I kept saying sugar beet, I don't know why. Um, sugar cane, which means I've got the 500,000 litres plus 30... 2,000 litres extra. So I'm providing um, Big Popper C with 532,000 litres not Big Popper C, Matt thinking of the sugar beet contracts I'm confusing myself now um, now obviously because the price whoops, wrong one that one, because the price wasn't what I thought it was going to be um, and he offered me five hundred thousand pounds plus fifty sheep. Um, I think it works out so far. I've had about sixty, seventy-four thousand. With that, what's that? Another five, eighty, ninety thousand. I think it'll work out with this second bit. About a hundred and five thousand. I'll have had in payment already which means I just need to be paid 400 I think, or 390 oh again, keep doing that so let's just back that up make sure I'm the right one there and that's it that sugarcane seems to have been a long time coming so I planted it way back it took longer to grow than the other crops did now I'm puzzled at the moment and this is only one of those things if you know if you could post a comment if you could help me out help a fellow farmer out now as far as I understood it you don't need to reseed or anything sugarcane grows three times two three times now if I go into the field now not into the field but into the menu it's showing, obviously I haven't finished it completely, I've still got all of that left to harvest. That's all extra. But that's saying harvested. If I go to soil composition, obviously it hasn't got anything on it now. And fruit types it's still saying sugar cane, which is fine. But my question is then, do I just leave it and will that in the next stage go back to green again? I don't want to cultivate it and then in cultivating it, destroy it. So I'm a bit baffled. I don't know if to just run over it with the muck spreader maybe and cover it and then just see what happens maybe. I don't need any more sugar cane but I'm just curious to see what happens so I think I'll probably just leave it. What I'm going to do now then is go down. I'm going to carry on with this harvest. So I'm going to try what I said. I'm going to get the um, uh, the Grimmy uh, SL, I can't remember which one it is. The um, one that boxes things up. The palletizer. Why can't I find... There we go. Belt systems. The RH, that's it. The RH2460, that's the one that palletizes. Now that says, loading this machine with potatoes or sugar beet will create nicely packaged pallets. I don't know. I don't think sugar cane will work. So I'm really confused by that price still up at the airport. I don't know why it's saying that. Never mind. Doesn't matter. I'll give it a go. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um... I'll see you in a little bit again. Hopefully I'll have all this harvested. What I'm going to do now, the rest of this will go into storage. I'm not selling it. So the big storage facility just down the road there. That's where it's going to go now. And I'll have a go and see if I can get that to work. If it works, you'll see the footage. If it doesn't work, it will find its way onto the cutting room floor. We'll see how that pans out, won't we? Uh, let me just connect that one. I like these trailers. How do we check in store? These trailers can be used for. Let's scroll across. I didn't really look, pay much attention before. Uh, sugar cane, straw, silage, okay. Wood chips, chaff, grass, and hay. Ah. Okay then. Well, that's going to work out quite handy. I oh, shall be keeping hold of these then. Right, see you again in a little while. And we'll see where we stand.
Oh, that was close. Right. A few things have changed since I finished the sugarcane harvest. And I have finished the sugarcane harvest. Um, I am going to leave it. I did toy with um, cultivating it all in. And just having one big field and then putting another crop in it. Um, but I haven't. I have been paid for the contract. Um, which took me up to 1,720,000. But as you can see, top right hand corner, it doesn't say 1,720,000. Um, that's because I've done a couple of other things. The um, trying to palletise sugarcane didn't work, which I suppose most of you are probably already saying, of course it wouldn't. Because I'm leaving the sugarcane field to regrow, I've put this shelter in, and I've put the sugarcane equipment just here, so if I need it, I can come and get it. If I decide at a later date, or it doesn't regrow, and I decide to repurpose the field, then I suppose I can sell that, because I won't need it again. I might keep those, though, for the crops I can use, uh, or use them for. What I've also done is up at the main farm, uh, along in front of the cow shed, the dairy part, I've bought um, a Lely Juno, and I can't remember if it's under animals or miscellaneous or where it is actually. Um, was it miscellaneous? No, it wasn't. I can't remember. I found it in the end now. Um, might have been animals, or maybe not. <laughs> there you go. I bought a Lely Juno. Um, to clean up the feed that goes backwards and forwards uh, so I've bought that oh and the other thing I was offered a contract I haven't got the specifics in front of me at the moment I'll talk about those in the next episode um, and the specifics of those are that they require silage and a lot of it I think some is it 300 or 500,000 litres of silage which was a lot but they did offer in payment to buy I think it's the right contract I hope I'm not mixing up two contracts and if I am I apologize to the two people if I'm not then I'm, I'm okay they offered to buy me field one and two at the top of the map so one and two was they offered to buy and I thought that seemed a lot for providing that much silage I know it'd be it's going to be a hard job to do I say hard it's going to be time consuming and then I suddenly looked at field two and thought that's got barley in it and even though it hasn't been uh, fertilised at all, hasn't been um, ploughed, that's still a big field with a lot of barley, and that's going to help towards my barley contract. So I bought it. So I've bought field two out of my own money, and what I'm going to do, I've been up there, it's ready to harvest, and I've gone over it once with the sprayer. So it's had one fertilising now, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the contract for silage, and I'm sure it was silage. I was offered one on soybean and one for corn, and I hope I'm not mixing them all up. Um, and when, when I do get the payment for that, I won't take payment exactly. All I'll do is re reimburse myself for what I paid for the field. I know it seems a bit complicated, but that's kind of the best way around I could think of doing it. Um, so yeah, that sort of things that have changed. Um, the first, not the first size, the muck spreader should be happily going up and down on here you can kind of see a difference between there and this bit um, and that's the bit I'm still still uncertain of because that's still, still showing as harvested I'm hoping when it goes over into the next growth stage that I'll go back to green again I, I don't know if it will or not I don't know how it works so the other thing I'm thinking now is having 1.4 million in the bank what I might do is buy a second harvester which is going to help me for doing the big field up there also means I can multitask when I'm doing different harvests so I might buy a second harvester that's kind of what I'm in the market for I think I'm alright for tractors and trailers and all that kind of thing oh yeah how much did I end up with farm dog so yeah what did I actually end up with um, so where are we yeah the sugarcane I sold part of the contract was 500,000 litres or 500 32,000 litres in the end um, and with what I got off the field I've still got 200,815 litres in storage so I've still got a bit there uh, to do with as I will really um, and that's about it that's kind of the catch up what's happened since the end of the sugarcane how I've kind of mopped up tidied up the things I've added a couple of things that I've bought because sometimes I do have these ideas when I'm 
prepping a map for the video and I do things off screen and then forget to mention them in the video and then people think well hang on a minute how where did that come from how did you get this or you know so yeah that's where we stand at the moment um so I suppose I need to get harvester up on field uh two so what field did I even buy I've just looked at it about four times every time I go the wrong way yeah field two it's the one at the top isn't it yeah field two um get a harvester up there plus I need to do the potato harvest on field 34 plus all the other things I've got in the ground which are ready to go or on their way ready for completing other other contracts financially we're doing all right the farm is getting there once we've got the barley sorted out the brewery will be up and running properly which is what I set out to do um, so yeah all good all good um, but we have come to the end of this episode I know this last bit's been me chatting um, there was a big old haul on the sugarcane I think it took me about three hours or so I think in real time to do that entire harvest so it took quite a while um, but anyway I hope you've enjoyed it this latest instalment if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free if you want to share this video then please be my guest or whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching